You and I live in the age of strong opinions. Now there is a time and a place for expressing a strong opinion, but as I have gotten older, I have learned that there are not very many times when expressing a strong opinion benefits you. Let me relate a story and then let me ask you a question. In the Solomon Sea, near Papua New Guinea, there is a chain of islands that are home to a culture whose primary foodstuff is a particular kind of yam. It's very difficult to grow. So they have very elaborate rituals that guide the planting and the cultivation of these yams. And they have a big festival around the yam planting and the harvest. And since all agriculture involves some element of luck, part of their ritual is a very elaborate and impressive yam dance. And a really good yam dance, the thinking goes, brings in a lot of big yams. So the best yam dancers, well, they have very high status. They get their huts closest to the chief and they get their first choice of mate and, you know, lots of perks. And if you're a really good yam dancer, maybe you even wind up as chief. Well, in the 18th century, a European ship visited the islands, bringing along with it, among other things, a missionary whose job it was to convert the natives. And he took to his assignment and he learned to speak the local language and he was charming and knowledgeable and popular. And the chief of the tribe began to treat him a little bit like a favored pet, you know, bringing him along to everything, always at his side. And after some time, the story goes, at the annual yam festival, after the yam dance, the chief asked the missionary in front of everyone whether he thought that that particular yam dance would bring in a good crop. And the missionary said, well, the dance was certainly impressively vigorous. And the chief said, well, good, so, so you think it'll bring in many yams. And the missionary said, well, as beautiful as it is, the dance is superfluous. It doesn't actually affect the yam crop one way or the other. I can say with some confidence that you can skip the dance or you can keep it, but the results will be the same. Now, here's my question. What do you think happened to the missionary? Yeah, exactly. <laughs>